Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What is the difference between IIF and switch function in SSRS report? So let's go ahead and take a look how exactly these function work. Uh, here I have a report and uh, I would like to change the background color of this row depending on the value of uh, item sold. If the item sold are less than or equal to 5, I would like to see this one in uh, um, yellow. Otherwise, I would like to see this in green or maybe different color. So right, I click here, press F4 and uh, we are here in the background color. Now I'm going to go to the expressions uh, and show you if. Uh, here I have written uh, if. Uh, uh, you, you can see that I'm using uh, expressions here. I'm saying field item sold less than uh, uh, equal to 5. I'm checking this uh, part. If uh, the value of this item sold is less than or equal to 5, I want this color to be yellow, otherwise uh, pink. So you see here the expression uh, will uh, uh, be evaluated true or false and if it will be true this part will be done otherwise this part will, will be done so this works like if else uh, if the condition is true you perform something otherwise you do to perform the other part yeah here I'm using only one expression you can use maybe uh, if you want to check another condition you can have and let's say and you can use that one but this whole expression will be evaluated as one uh, uh, expression so that's how if works uh, let's click here and now we see the preview you can see that uh, we have changed the yellow and uh, to the pink color depending upon uh, the value of uh, item sold now think about the other scenario you would like to change the color uh, of these uh, this text uh, uh, right here so you see the numbers I, I already have changed the colors but uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look uh, now there are multiple conditions we need to evaluate if the value is less than or equal to 3 we would like to see in red if it is between uh, 3 uh, less than 5 we would like to see in black otherwise we would like to see in uh, white so there are different conditions we have to do it we can write nested uh, ifs uh, but there is a function available for us uh, that is called a switch uh, where we can uh, write multiple uh, statements uh, or uh, we can use uh, this one as a case statement uh, so you see here switch function I'm checking the first value saying okay item sold less than equal to 3 then color is red or I can do green whatever I want now if that's not true if the item sold is less than equal to 5 then do the black and if it is if this is also not true then go to the next one okay if item sold is greater than 5 then the color is white so whichever the expression will become true or part will become true that will be returned so let's say if our value exists between this one so it will show green it is not going to go to the next uh, conditions but in case uh, it this was this will be false uh, then it is going to come to here and take a look uh, and uh, if uh, also this does not qualify and uh, then it is going to go to the last one so that's how it will work so you can see that switch we have kind of case statement if uh, um, when this value is this, do this, when uh, this value do, uh, is this, then do this, and uh, else uh, do this part. So that's how you can use the switch. Let's go and take a look. And now you can see that uh, the color of this text is changed depending on the condition. So simply if, to put it in a summary, IIF has only one uh, uh, condition uh, that's evaluated true or false and then you can perform only two things uh, on true you can do something or on false you can do something uh, now with the switch you can have multiple conditions uh, and you can uh, use this one as a case statement uh, and uh, perform different uh, things uh, once the first uh, will be evaluated uh, and will be true that part will be executed other parts uh, will not be checked so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in next video